Today we're gonna give you a few tips on how to do a double can indie. All right, what's up? We are out here with Taka, the ninja, and he is gonna do the how to do a double can indie. Yeah. Show us how to do it. Yep. <laughs> so, how to do double can. So first step, you just jump. Soon as take off ramp. You know, like uh, when bottom G out, like boom, boom, just uh -huh. pop. Yeah, just pop, but always thinking hip, you know. So if you go high as possible, you can do more indie or uh, going KOD, you know. <laughs> then after you watching how high you are, you know, so make sure you, if you have a high seat, you know. I have a low seat, so kind of easy to kick, so. After a pop, then start a twist, just a twist, not indie. You know, if you try to indie, maybe messed up and crash. So first step, just pop, then same time, just a little bit side away. Then you know how to get timing. Then you get start comfortable, you can straight to do indie after. So just like that. See? Same. <laughs> just like that. Yeah. That's it? That's it. Simple. Simple. Yeah. So step one, pop. Yeah, pop. Then step two, pop and pop, twist. Pop, rotate, and pop then and side, you know. And then just work your way, then getting higher. Indie. Yeah. Full indie. Yep. Then. So three steps. Yeah, this trick still connected to KOD, you know. So like an old trick too, like a Superman, no hand, or a KOD, you know. So KOD, indie, all kind of same. So you have to think how to use hip, hip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But. <laughs> So I got a few extra bonus tips to add to what Taka was saying. As you can see in these photos, me doing the same exact trick. When Taka's talking about popping, he's talking about jumping off the foot peg. So you gotta remember when you're riding towards the ramp, the weight of your body is on the foot pegs. Once you leave the ramp, you are now popping or jumping off the foot pegs and transferring your weight to the bars. And you find yourself in a, almost a push up position, as you can see from the photos, my head is above the bars, my weight is in my arms, and I'm stabilizing my body, almost like I'm doing a push-ups on the bars. That's how you control your weight, that's how you're gonna control your hips and your movement. You stabilize your body so you pop off the pegs, transfer your weight from the pegs to the bars. Now you gotta remember, now look at the head movement. Both me and Taka are turning our heads the body's gonna follow the head. So you turn your head, which, and you turn it as far as you can go, and that's gonna allow you to rotate your hips as far as you can. So as you, once you transfer your weight off those, off of the pegs, and your weight is now on the bars, and you're stabilized, you begin to, you're gonna to begin to clear the seat. Once you clear the seat, you're gonna rotate your hips, your head is going to turn, and you're gonna look as far as you can, and you're gonna take your right foot and kick as far as you can upward and try to look at your foot. So your body's gonna follow your head. So where your head goes, your body's gonna go. So as you rotate your hips and you rotate your head, you're gonna look and try to get your right foot up as far as you can. You can see in the photo, my head and my foot are almost in the same exact position. Once you get it full extended, you're simply gonna rotate your hips back the opposite way and just be sure you clear your foot over your seat. That's the most important thing. Getting back to a double can is not catching your foot on your seat. So be sure you clear your seat and get back to the foot pegs safe and sound. And that, my friends, is how you do a double can indie. So I hope these tips have been helpful. If you guys are feeling it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to the page yet, be sure to subscribe and leave some comments down below and let us know what you think. If you have any more questions on how to do a double can or how to do any other freestyle trick. So thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one here on The Fire Slide.